Hello everyone. It is my 38 week update and I'm about ready to pop and I'm kind of sad that she's not here yet just because how I've been feeling. But those of you who are new to my channel, welcome to my channel and those of you who are already subscribed, welcome back to my channel. And if you're not already subscribed, simply just hit the subscribe button. <laughs> okay, so I don't want to make this video long. Honestly, I don't have the energy. I haven't been feeling that well. I've been in the hospital twice in the last two weeks due to um, feeling like she was already coming, but obviously she's not here yet. So I'm gonna update you guys on everything that's been happening. You can see that my background is also different, and this is because um, my husband and I moved in with my mom. Um, it's a cute background though, isn't it? So yeah, we moved in with my mom to help save some money, and then also baby Zoe gets her own room. So, awesome, awesome, awesome. So, let me tell you guys what's been going on. Sorry, I'm a little distracted because um, I see something back there. Okay, so at this point in time, the baby is the size of a small watermelon, according to the baby center. And um, so around 37 weeks, I um, woke up in the middle of the night and there was a whole bunch of like liquid coming down my legs. So we thought the water had broken and um, we ended up going to the hospital, found out that wasn't the case. Also, last time that I updated you guys, I was three centimeters dilated. And last week, right before I turned 37 weeks, I was about 30, I'm sorry, 30, right before I turned 38 weeks. So I was 37 weeks and about three or four days. Um, the doctor told me that I'm a little over four centimeters dilated. However, the contractions are not consistent. They're not heavy. They're not hurting me. So they said until all that is happening and my water really breaks this time, then there's no reason for me to go to the doctor or think that I'm going into labor. So my water broke around 37 weeks. Well, I'm sorry, we thought my water broke around 37 weeks. I woke up in the middle of the night, all this liquid just started coming down. And this may be TMI, but there was like some discharge or whatever and we ended up going to the hospital. We didn't even have bags packed or anything. Like, we knew what we wanted to pack, but we didn't think, you know, it would happen so soon. So we just kind of threw everything in the bags, ran to the hospital, got there, was there for like about two, three hours, and they said they, d they tested me for um, amniotic fluid to see if the water had actually broken, and there was no positive sign of amniotic fluid. Um, everything was fine with the baby. I was still dilated. There was barely any contractions. Okay, that's all good. Then, um, la on Friday, um, I turned Friday, June, no, Friday, May 31st. I turned um, <clears throat> 38 weeks and um, the following day on Saturday, I did not feel the baby move. Like she was consistently moving and all of a sudden she just stopped moving. So um, we ended up going to the doctor the following day because I still haven't felt her move. And FYI, you shouldn't do that. When you don't notice a lot of movement, you should go right away. I waited too long. I waited over 24 hours um, before I decided to do that so but anyways we went in all of a sudden when we get to the hospital the baby's like moving like crazy heart rate's good I was having contractions and um, even when I'm walking like it feels like she literally she just wants to come out like her head is down there I'm walking and she's just like I could feel pressure 
but she's just taking her time and nobody got time for that to be honest like I'm just ready for her to come out everyone keeps asking um, anything new yet any do you feel any different the doctor told me to walk do jumping jacks have intercourse um, and it feels like nothing's been working so she's just being stubborn yes the, the due date is June 14th and it's today is when I'm filming this video it's June 3rd um, which the doctors speculated and the nurses all speculated that she would be here by now based on the fact of how I've been dilating and how I've been feeling the past two weeks but I don't know we'll just see maybe after today maybe she'll come tonight but we'll see so that's mainly what's been happening with me and I've um, haven't been filming because I have just thought like I my body physically has not been feeling good I'm trying to walk, I'm, but I'm waddling and I'm just getting low back pain and filming is like the last thing on my mind. But hopefully baby's here soon so that I can show you guys. I did say in my last video that I was going to do like a, um, stuff that I got from the baby shower and stuff that I got from uh, like shopping and all that, like a haul, a try on haul. I'm probably not gonna do the try on haul, but I will still show you guys what I got from the baby shower. Some of the stuff my husband already set up, like the crib, the rocking chair, and stuff like that. So I can show you guys that, how we're starting the nursery in another video. So once everything just kind of settles, I'll go ahead and do that. But for now, that's just all what's been happening. Lots of, um, Pressure, it, the two main things is I've been having a lot of pressure and a lot of um, discharge. <laughs> and that's because they said the mucus plug is like, you know, coming out, so that's normal. And um, my mom also did try boiling me cinnamon sticks because that's also supposed to help like induce labor. So she boiled some cinnamon sticks in hot wa in water and I drank a whole cup of that twice and nothing. Also heard about castor oil. Um, did try a little bit of that, nothing. So <laughs> um, she's just being her own person. I guess this is what's gonna happen for the rest of my life. She's gonna be a stubborn little one like her dad, so. Oh, I do want to show you guys the pictures from my maternity photos. So I will um, put up some of those photos at the end of this video to show you guys that we took. So I'm just going to show you guys my belly and then that will be it. I'm like super big right now, guys. This looks similar to the dress that I wore for my maternity photos, but this is not the same dress. This is a dress that I got from Ross, by the way, Ross Dress for Less. If you want to see a lot of the new clothes that I got, you can go on my Instagram. And I'll leave the Instagram handle below. This is the belly. I'm like literally about to pop. And they said too she's moving less because of the fact that she's getting bigger. So the room is not that much. And the doctor pretty much said that I'm like all belly at this point. So yeah, I've gained weight, but she said it's pretty much all belly. So any day now. I will try and record once I do start going into labor. Um, you never know what can happen, so we'll see. <laughs> All right, I will see you guys in my next update. Wish me luck and pray for me and please leave a comment below if you had a similar situation or if you have any other idea of what I can do. I will be walking some more, so we'll see what happens. Okay, bye.